He soon had Dan all fixed up and an ambulance on the way. So if you look at Dundee, 56% of our young people and children live in low income households. Um, a third of the population in Dundee live in deprived areas and suffer from deprivation. That's a large number for, for anyone. It wasn't a consistent approach across the city and despite all the efforts of, of our teachers etc, our literacy levels were not as where I felt they could be, they needed to improve. That connectivity between reading, writing, listening and talking wasn't always as well defined as it is now. Head teachers had asked for consistency across the city. There was a real desire that we would all be moving in the same direction because different schools were reporting successes and difficulties in different areas. Our colleagues in educational psychology came up with a list of criteria for best practice in teaching reading. They then looked at several reading, learning to read programmes and mapped against those which ones were included and Read Right Inc hit every single one of those criteria so it made it a real front runner. As, as a city, I have to say this is a priority for us in the education department, so we had to be committed, I had to give it the profile, I had to make every, everyone understand that everyone was responsible for this, from the director to the child in the classroom, to the parents, to the teachers, the politicians, everyone had to be committed and, and that's how we came about Read Right Inc. So it was mandatory across the whole authority. Training and resources were provided to upskill and give people confidence. Ongoing support was given, and we've seen over the over the year change in practice which has been followed by change in belief. Doing it as a, a whole city initiative has, has really given us a, a, a licence to, to reinvigorate the teaching of reading and writing within the school and that's what, what we were needing. So that has had a huge impact and it's been across the school so that all our teachers from primary one to seven are now aware of how we teach reading. It's not just confined to the, the early years. It also meant that the staff across the city could support each other and share good practice with um, each other. So regardless of what your issue or your development need might have been that there was something available to you. The staff feel like that as well. We've certainly come together, we're closer now and we're more willing to share ideas, share resources, um, ask for help, ask for advice, which has been great. Everybody has been able to talk the same, same talk about read writing. We had 3% of our pupils at the end of the year who weren't yet blending. That was 47 out of 1,588 pupils across the city. And possibly the big difference was we knew exactly who those children are. We, they were receiving one-to-one -one tutoring. We had support from the Ruth Miskin trainers to help us implement that. And our head of education could phone any school and say, who in your school can't blend? And I don't think we would have known that information exactly before. I think we had almost every Ruth Miskin trainer that was available in Dundee that day. I think there was 10 trainers up yes. and we had every single primary one teacher, every support for learning teacher and then as many other primary two and other teachers that would fit into the training trained in clusters. And we also had a, a fresh start training at a secondary school and 70 teachers attended that. I think there was over 500 teachers trained 
and for primary phonics and 70 for fresh start. I think the, the initial training helped us as a staff to come together and actually look at how we delivered reading across the school. Uh, it developed a consistency of approach which we were, we were very much needing. Well, uh, before the reading phonics training I hadn't had a primary one class before so I was extremely nervous and the thought of teaching reading and writing was a little bit terrifying. Before we had the training we were really quite nervous about it because there was only one in the support for learning department who was primary trained and had some reading training so although we were very keen to do it we were all quite nervous about doing it. My teaching's much more focused um, I'm much more confident um, that I'm happy that I know that I'm being consistent I know where the children should be, I know how to support the children who maybe are struggling and I know how to push on the children who you know are doing really well. The training really was excellent and it gave us the confidence to move forward and to start the programme. Since the implementation of Read Write Inc I have noticed um, that teaching strategies have not just improved within the teaching of reading but these have permeated throughout the curriculum. On a development day, I will go into schools and work alongside the reading leader, the head teacher, the staff of the school to model, coach and support teachers. Amanda's here to work with us. Now Amanda is a very clever lady who's come all the way from England and that's who trained me, so that's how I know how to teach you sounds. Can you read that for <laughs> Put your finger under the sounds. Oh, shut up. So Sarah met with myself and the head teacher. She could quickly identify good practice and areas for development. The follow-up meetings that we had uh, when Amanda came to visit confirmed that, that what we were doing was on the right lines and she was able to direct us in, in different ways to enhance what we were doing further. Sarah met with the head teacher, myself, all of the staff. We looked upon it as a chance to make sure that we were on, the, on track and going in the right direction for all of our classes. We decided to use Fresh Start because we realised that we had a, a large proportion of our new start that were poor readers. Uh, we had something like 44 young people out of 140 in first year who had a reading age under nine. And we realised that we were going to have to do something about this reading um, to have an impact across the whole curriculum. We had to talk about the idea that they were all able to do it. They all were intelligent enough to do this, but they had somehow missed something in their primary education, which had left a gap. Well, my mum and dad weren't quite sure at the start because in primary ed, I didn't get a lot of help. My mum thinks I've come along so far from joining Fresh Start. I like it because it's going to help me when I'm older with the job that I'm then. It helps me buy my confidence. And I feel that my writing is much better and uh, my reading is just super now. <laughs> he kissed a cold bear cheek and swallowed the poison to the very last drop. It's, I feel like I'm understanding it more than I was last year. I feel strongly that you need to sort this right away before I do something. I will regret. <laughs> this is a boy in the very early stages of rewriting Fresh Start and you can see that his inability to write and to spell has, you know, he's, he's just not wanted to try the task at all. And here we are, um, months down the line and this is what he's able to produce now. 
and um, he is engaged in his lessons, he's reading, he's actually beginning to feel proud of himself and of course we're very proud of the progress he's made as well. Well what we have done is we have measured their reading age, um, we've had a baseline assessment and then we, ha we have measured them after um, a few months and then the final one after nine months and every single child in the programme has made progress, every single child. But if I could pick out a couple of really good ones for you. Um, this boy started with um, a, a reading age of 8.4 and he has gone up in nine months to 12.6. We've got another boy here again with a reading age of 8.4 and his decoding skills have gone up to 15.3, which is just absolutely phenomenal. but it is also impacted on their confidence as well. They are confident at reading, they're confident at writing, they're much more engaged in their lessons, and this is impacted across the curriculum. Um, and they have been able to perform better in other subject areas, not just in their English. Um, and we also see better behaviour across other subjects because they're much more able to, to, to do the work and read the texts that they're being given. We also carried out a parent survey and we asked, we had five positive statements about Read Write Inc with agree, strongly agree, agree, disagree and strongly disagree and overwhelmingly they came back almost all strongly agreeing with all of them. They had lots of lovely positive comments about the programme but also what's really nice acknowledging the skill of the teachers and that that was key, that the teachers really had made a big difference to their children's reading. Subtitles on the telly now, we can't watch things that we used to be able to watch. <laughs> Um, and she's just, and the speed in which she can read as well has really blown me away. Um, he's keen to read, he enjoys reading, he enjoys making the sounds. My daughter wasn't really interested in reading, that's how I deferred Kayla a year back behind sort of, uh, but she's picked up really well, very quick with this method, I'm very proud of her. It's primary one so everything's new, it's it's different, he practices all his sounds, he looks at the words, he can now put words together, it's just, it's totally different from first time round, Mommy. definitely, with the oldest one. I feel, I feel this system's better, quicker with my child, this is my personal opinion, but I feel my kid's doing a lot better than the middle child was. The kids love it, I love it, they're so enthusiastic about it, which makes it even more exciting for me to teach. And I get so excited when they come in at primary one, they can't read, they can't write, and to see them leave and they can write an A4 sheet of paper, a story, they can read a story, is just amazing. I like learning the sounds. I like it because my teacher um, teaches me all the sounds and I'll be able to read books when I'm more than. I like writing like sounds and letters. This is lovely. Um, I like it when we have stories at the end of our read writing. Now boys and girls, I know Karen that we've been reading all about Tom Thumb. And I think because all of them, no matter what stage they're at, can be successful. You know, none of them are, can't do it. Oh, I can't do it, I don't know what to do. They all know what to do, they know what's expected, they know what to expect, and they're all successful. Yeah, I love to get books. One of the flagship national policy documents is getting it right for every child. 
And when people embrace that and they see the importance of giving children more life chances and life choices to enable children to go on and be all they can be in their future. I think you were so good at that that we could give each other a big ee-haw. We'll go. Yeah.